What's up, B? Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I'm going to be giving you a first look at Nitrogen, one of the latest and greatest Nintendo DS emulators for iOS, and if not, the only Nintendo DS emulator in development for iOS. Now, many of you may know of the popular NDS for iOS, However, that application is no longer in development and some of the developers of that app have moved on to a new one named Nitrogen. And I've been hesitant to make a video about Nitrogen and a lot of you all have been requesting it. However, I felt like the video did not need to be made yet, but because so many of you all wanted to see a video on it, I decided to go ahead and do it. Like I mentioned, a lot of developers of NDS for iOS are working on Nitrogen, therefore they used NDS for iOS as a base to build this Nitrogen application, therefore it looks very, very similar to NDS for iOS. So I'm going to go ahead and open the application for you all to see, and first thing you can notice is that it looks exactly like NDS for iOS, and I'm going to walk you through nitrogen but i'm also going to give you some of the features that the developers intend on adding in the future as something to look forward to so if you head to the about section of nitrogen you can just see the version number but we're going to move on to the settings and it has a lot of the similar settings to nds for ios as you can see it has frame skip disable sound overlay pixel grid control pad style the control position control opacity vibration Dropbox Sync and Show FPS and of course the hidden developer feature the experimental lightning JIT. So sticking to the settings some of the stuff that they want to add in the future is the mic microphone level adjuster so that you can use the microphone as you're playing NDS games. Disable and enable the top or bottom screen. Upscale which will require jailbreak. FPS booster which will also require a jailbreak but that leads me to say that this application is not available at the moment to non jailbroken or jailbroken devices unless you have a developer account because you it is only available on github and you would have to sign the application yourself they do not distribute it in any way with that being said let's head into some of the gameplay of a game I have here which is Pokemon Black and unfortunately I checked and in this current update the game still crashes when you head into the forest in one of the first cities which I totally forgot the name of. However, as I go over some gameplay I want to give you guys some more information about this nitrogen emulator. I feel that it's very promising, a lot of developers I believe are going to work hard to make this as great of an application that it can be and I'm really looking forward to them continuing to develop this and see how far it goes. Some of the features that they do intend on adding in the future are things like cheat codes, fast forward, save states and load states. They do indeed had auto saves right now, but that's not the same thing as kind of a save state. They also want to add skins for landscape only, lock orientation, Wi-Fi capabilities, microphone function, vibration function and screen enabler disabler so those are a lot of things that you guys can look forward to as you can see one of the new changes to nitrogen is the color of the fps it is blue um as you can see there but honestly right now this emulator like i mentioned is very similar to nds for iOS. however we can look forward to more updates in the future i know the developers are going to be working hard to do that and they do plan on releasing this for jailbroken and non jailbroken devices in the future but unfortunately at the moment it is only available to developers with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this first look at nitrogen like i mentioned i know it's nothing really special but a lot of you guys have been asking for this so i thought i might as well do the video so you guys understand why i didn't want to do it at first but at least you have this information now about what we can expect in the future for nitrogen and i will continue to keep you guys updated on the emulator thanks for watching and i hope you found this video helpful if you did then please leave a like as well as if you have not hit that subscribe button yet i highly recommend you do so to be notified whenever i upload a video because i make videos like this one every week thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and welcome to the operation